and see you. Thank you for enjoying your sweetest moments with me merging timelines. Today I'm going to just do a general collective reading. This reading is going to be if you feel called to click the video. Um, obviously based off of the description you were drawn to the video. I haven't titled it yet so it's a mystery as I come on and we'll discover the making of it rather collective. Thank you so much for enjoying time and space with me. If you like my vibrations, I would appreciate you by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Let's get into your reading, collective reading. Please give us a six card spread to allow us to see what we need to see, hear, and know, and feel at this time as a collective. See what we have here collective what's the six card spread that we have today spirit allow me to be a clear and open channel what are the messages that we need to see today what's the message for today for anyone who feels called to visit the channel to receive this message what are we discussing today So obviously, we're all up in our heads about the new days to come. <laughs> they say all we need is courage because we have enough reason within us all. We have enough reason within us all to decide that this is where we want to go as a collective. We've got passion in our freedom of expression and how it all fits together as one. And we live in proof of that in our own unique ways. Collective reading, please, Spirit, for today. Today is Sunday, by the way, when we're doing this reading been gloomy here in Florida. Nine of water in the reverse. So our disappointments are certainly fueling our reasonable actions to bring in newer timelines for ourselves. We're doing that collectively, spirit. Spirit says collectively everyone is going to pitch in on this and it's going to be stemmed through their disappointments. We've had time to reflect, but we'll have more time in the near future. We'll have more time because the earth is birthing a new frame itself and so are we. We can always think that all the, or assume rather, all the changes we are experiencing within our mind frame is always happening around us as well. It's changing, shaping, reflecting what we feel to believe to be true. We're not there yet though, collective. Like we think we know what the new days are to look like, but we're really just going along with mother nature who's always in charge. And the energetic forces that allow us to expand 
within. You know, as we receive these confrontational moments of adversity, which I think that we've foreseen in our past, because we went through our disappointments as if they weren't disappointing, maybe due to the conditioning of recovering that way, but we'll have time to reflect on it still. We'll have more time to decide um, what does better days look like. And I feel like that will come from its remembrance. Obviously, it will, um, it will allow certain ideas to surface just out of wanting to move in a different direction to be the hero in that moment. So we're going to see where we go for the future. Yeah, we're just going to be taking the actions that we need to take in order to put ourselves in these positions that would allow us to integrate these timelines of peace and enforced um, self-discovery. I think everyone is, is wanting that. We enjoyed the COVID for that, you know, that forced self-discovery. And they always say, or they've been saying, that we'll probably have another time and space like that again. And so maybe to take advantage of it, we would then put forth the actions we wish we took that time around. You know, let's say it happens again and we'll do everything that we wish we would have done at that time. So if you could think of a project you were supposed to be putting more of your time in, then we can do it now. Just take the risk. We can do it now if you can take the risks. It does bring delays now because you feel <clears throat> almost like you rejected yourself, which I guess we can say if we weren't doing what we were supposed to, if we didn't take the risk in 2020, then we were rejecting ourselves. But I feel with the ace of wins, you have so much more clarity on where you want to go. And that just happens when we fail. That's why there is no such thing as like failure ships. It's almost a matter of just wanting to do something again. Now that you know the course, you know, and the best repetition is actually the thing that creates skill, not actual skill nobody's more skilled or less skilled it's just the repetitive familiar nature of tackling a certain project or course so let's see what's the archangel message for the reading guys this is a collective spread if you enjoyed the reading and my vibration, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm grateful for the love and support and hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Let's get an Archangel message to tie in the reading. It says, easy does it. There is no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. Okay? So... Even though it may seem like you rejected yourself, you wanted to be more firm, I believe, in your own truth. And it does happen that way. I felt very, very insecure myself in reading tarot and wanted to make sure that what I was reading for others, I found within my own reality first. And I feel like that's all you did within your time and space of 2020 to 2022 was really find your own truth within the craft that you've decided to build and bend in on. So, um, when we take our advice, the next given isolation period that we have, may it be of our best benefit to take the risk and start to put in the extra time. And those successes won't be delayed but be easy on yourself in the process, okay?
because it's now now is the right time no matter how it feels or how it looks now is the right time that was 10 10 when i saw that again um i enjoyed the time and space that we shared thank you so much for visiting the channel until next time bye